Hey everyone, it's Lucy Kate and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be doing my 2022 favorites. Um, this will include so many categories, including makeup, fashion, homeware, TV series, and so on. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and my Instagram is at it's the Lucy Kate. I'm kind of taking it from above today and I kind of like this angle. One thing I'm gonna apologize is it's currently 6 p.m. The traffic is probably gonna to get a little noisy so I apologize for that. I pre-recorded all of December's videos because you know moving is gonna be hectic so I just wanted to have some videos and content to post. I have my Starbucks with me. I got a cafe misto today. I can't believe that it's nearly the end of the year. This year has gone by so so quickly. I feel like every year just gets quicker and quicker. It's so crazy. Um, so I am pre-recording this. So it's currently still mid-November and by the time this video is up, I will probably be in our new condo. So we are moving in December. Um, so this is probably the last video that I'm going to be filming here. Our condo has been so nice. We've had such a wonderful one year here. Um, lovely ocean view that I'm really gonna miss. So. If I haven't already, I'll probably try and post like a life update on how life in our new place is. Yeah, so they didn't give me a holiday cup, which I'm super bummed about. So I still have my white cup. This isn't gonna be just makeup because actually I haven't really bought that much makeup. So it's gonna be in, into lots of different categories. Um, so the first category we have is homeware. And if you know me, you know that I love a good cup I love a good cup of coffee or tea. It's what keeps me going. I'm caffeinated 24 seven basically. So, and obviously because I work from home, I drink coffee at home all day. So therefore mug cups are something that I really love. I have three mug cups that I wanna show you guys. All three of them have been featured in my video. First, here is this two mug cup set that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, so this one says Good Witch and then this one says Wicked Witch. These are super cute, black and pink. I love the color and the size is pretty big so it fits quite a lot of coffee or like whatever drink inside. So yeah, these two I love and I love how like, even though it's for Halloween, it's not too Halloween-ish. Like I can use this all year. Like if it had a pumpkin on, it would just be for Halloween. But these ones I can use all year and I kind of separate them depending on my mood. So my partner jokes how he'll know if I'm in a bad mood if I use this one. So yeah. One more mug cup I want to show you guys. I think I introduced it in my Christmas makeup bingo um, video. Um, is this one. It's the gingerbread cup from Target. So I believe they release these like holiday mugs, like $5 mugs every year. And the gingerbread mug I got last year unfortunately broke. So I got a replacement this year. So it's only $5, I think it's super cheap. So yeah, like I actually like want to buy, I really wanna buy just all of them. Like all of the holiday mugs are so cute. But realistically we live in a condo, it's pretty small. And yeah, I'm not gonna need that many mug cups. So I just got a gingerbread one. So yeah, like I said, mug cups are like a super important part of my daily routine, I guess you could say, because I drink coffee all day and it just it just feels nice, you know, to have cute mug cups. So yeah, that's the only homeware I have. Next category we have is beauty. I have been posting quite a lot of makeup content recently, but I haven't really been buying lots of new makeup. So I do love makeup and I have been posting more makeup content recently, more commentary style though, um, but I don't really necessarily buy as much makeup as I used to. I only buy like one item at a time now. So actually there's not much beauty products. Um, eyeshadow palette wise, the only palette I got this year was the Stitch and Wet n Wild palette and I wouldn't necessarily count it as one of my favorites. So I think the only thing that I really, really love is the e.l.f. foundation. So my favorite foundation of this year has um, been the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. So these are in two different shades. This one is in snow and then this one is in ivory. This one's a little too dark for me. Yeah, this has been my favorite foundation. I've been through quite a few bottles this year. Um, it's medium coverage. It's a satin finish 
and it kind of smells like sunscreen so if you don't like that it won't be for you but I really like it. it's really creamy and I prefer a good coverage if I'm gonna put on foundation so yeah and the price is cheap as well so literally no complaints this has been my go-to foundation this year apart from that there's not really been many products that have like really stuck out for me beauty wise so yeah hopefully next year um, I'll find more favorites that I can you know recommend to you guys oh yeah I also have the you can be setting spray I guess this has been my favorite this year I use it every day when I when I apply makeup I use this all the time um, it does keep my eyeshadow in place like I have noticed that my eyeshadow hasn't faded as easily as it would used to so beauty wise that is all and now I just want to throw in a quick hair product when it comes to hair care like I've never really been the type to do much when it comes to hair as you can see I tend to like just wear it naturally like I don't really curl it or straighten it um, I mean I used to in Japan but yeah I don't really like curl it or straighten it every day like <laughs> I'm pretty lazy when it comes to hair so I have natural wavy hair and I did bleach it a few times in the past few years so it was really dry and dead for a while um, so I've been really trying to like take care of it and I haven't bleached in a while and I was kindly gifted this product and a shampoo and conditioner from a company called GK Hair and this was my first ever collab since I started my restarted my Instagram account so I just want to say I really appreciate GK Hair for you know giving me their products and giving me the opportunity to collaborate and these products were gifted to me for free but the opinion is completely mine but I have been absolutely loving this hair oil it's a hair serum basically and it's anti-frizz smoothing serum so I apply this every time before I go out because my hair gets because my hair gets super super frizzy and I also apply this after I wash my hair after drying my hair keeps it smooth and nice and the smell is really nice so yeah this serum I really recommend I'll link it down below yeah all the products I can find links of I will link down below next category is fashion and to be honest I've hardly bought any clothes this year the last time I ordered from Sheen was one year ago and I kept saying I was gonna reorder and I never did I guess since living in Hawaii like obviously I do care about fashion I, I love fashion I do you know try to dress nicely but since being in Hawaii like I literally wear sandals every day like you know because it's sunny and warm all year round I'm either wearing sandals or if I'm wearing something sporty I wear sneakers well because I lived in the UK I do like dressing like street style like leather jackets boots Dr. Martens and so on and obviously being in Hawaii that's a little difficult so I don't really have any favorite fashion items I'd say I tend to wear like shorts or like yeah shorts and like a, a top or something um, one thing I have been wearing a lot is this denim jacket that I got um, this one is actually from New Look which is actually a British fashion high street fashion brand it's like a cheap fast fashion brand and yeah I found it in the store and I've been loving that denim jacket because obviously you can't really go wrong with denim jackets um, apart from that there hasn't been any new clothing that I've got so next category is food and drinks and um, two things that I really love since coming to Hawaii are avocado toast and acai bowls here in Hawaii you can find like every cafe sells acai bowls or avocado toast like it's so common I'm not sure what it's like in the mainland so if you guys live in the mainland please let me know um, but for me when I was in Japan it's really rare to like be able to buy avocado toast or acai bowl the only places you can eat acai bowl is like Hawaiian style cafes um, so it's not really common to, it's not really common to order um, and obviously the size portion is way different it's like really tiny so since coming to Hawaii obviously it's a every I have been really enjoying acai bowls um, I love eating sweets I'm a huge chocoholic but I do find that since coming to America I don't enjoy eating cakes and chocolate as much I mean I do but I find that the cakes are so sickly compared to Japan so I feel like acai bowls is like such a good alternative if you want to eat something sweet and I guess it's healthy because it includes so many fruits whenever I go to a cafe I like to try the acai bowls out I do not make them at home because I'm lazy 
and avocado toast I just really love because it's such an easy food um, so easy to make at home as well and I like eating them at cafes so yes those have been my two favorite foods one more food I love is raising canes yeah one thing I really love about America is there's so many different fast, fast food chains compared to Japan I still haven't tried many uh, but raising canes has been my favorite fast food to eat and um, I do mention on my Instagram well I'm kind of a pescatarian like half pescatarian I'd say um, apart from chicken I don't really eat other meat and in the future I do it is my aim to become vegetarian because I just know it's more healthy but chicken is the one meat that I've been struggling to quit and raising canes just tastes so so good like the sauce that they have is amazing so yeah raising canes is my like favorite go-to fast food place last category we have is tv media and music tv wise um first of all i want to introduce an app that i've been using and this app is called tv time and if you guys don't have this app seriously you need to download it it is really really convenient it's so useful so i have ocd <laughs> really really strong case of OCD. I, I love to make lists so because I'm watching so many TV shows and I don't know what episode I'm on like it's really confusing and it's really annoying when you forget what episode you're on and you're like searching for ages so basically TV time lets you add your shows and movies you can basically input like how many episodes you've watched and it gives you like a preview of what the episode is about where you can stream it from it also lets you know when your upcoming shows are starting and like what time what channel you can do the same for movies as well so it's a really useful app so if you don't have it definitely download it. It, it even if you don't have OCD it's good to be up to date you know on what shows you're watching and TV series wise um, my favorite TV series first of all one is Revenge so I think this one was released in like 2014 or something so we binge watched it and it is so so good okay I would not be missing this traffic because this traffic is super noisy but anyways I think I've mentioned before how I don't really like modern TV shows and I just feel they're too light so I like more darker TV series like Gossip Girl and Vampire Diaries um, so Revenge is like it's like an adult version of Gossip Girl so it's set in the Hamptons and it's about Emily um, her dad was falsely accused and then um, falsely accused of being a terrorist and put into jail by the Graysons, this like super rich family in the Hamptons and um, it's basically about her avenging her father's death and there's so many plot twists, it's so good. So if you haven't watched it before definitely go watch it, I really recommend it. And another show I enjoy is Real Girlfriends in Paris. I'm a sucker for reality TV, I love Bravo TV, like I, well, I've watched pretty much nearly everything on Bravo, like The Real Housewives, Below Deck, Shaz of Sunset, Vanderpump Rules, Southern Charm, and they came out with Real Girlfriends in Paris this year. To this point, I'm not sure if they're going to renew it or not, it's still like pending, but it was really really good. So it's kind of like a younger version of Real Housewives because everyone's in their 20s and it's about Americans living in Paris, hoping they continue it because I love the whole Paris aesthetic. Two more shows that aren't new but I still love are, first was Emily in Paris. Emily in Paris is coming out with season 3, I think this month. Probably by the time this is uploaded, it's come out, so I'm so excited. And then another show is You, which obviously features Penn Badgley, who is Dan Humphrey from Gossip Girl. So I'm looking forward to season four. So yeah, season four of that as well. Okay, shows-wise, I think that's about it. Um, I've also been watching The Kardashians, obviously, and I actually like their format more compared to KUWTK. So I really enjoyed watching KUWTK. I liked their older seasons when it was more like a family kind of show. I've also been enjoyed watching the Kardashians. Um, the format is slightly different. It's like you really get to see into each lives of the sisters. So I've been enjoying watching that. So next, um, I want to introduce some YouTubers that I've been enjoying. So first of all, for makeup related YouTubers, I have two YouTubers. The first one is Jen Loves Reviews. And then the second is Angelina 
I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, so I'll just put it up here. I've been really enjoying watching commentary videos um, these past, yeah, these past one or two years, and those two are my favorite YouTubers to watch for makeup news, makeup reviews. Um, yeah, I love Jenla's reviews. Like, I don't think there's many people in my age that watch her channel. Like, she did say how her channel is more like late 30s, early 40s, um, but early 20s person watching here like I really enjoy watching her like what's in makeup like she does these like live streams they're like one hour long so I really yeah I enjoy watching her videos while I'm doing makeup another favorite youtube I have is your girl calf I think I mentioned her a couple of times before um yeah I, I binge watched all her videos so she started off by doing like makeup videos hair care videos before which I really enjoyed and then she started reviewing every episode of the legacies and she does really good like commentary videos and like vampire diaries as well so I really recommend her channel if you're obsessed with vampire diaries like me I just feel like she's someone I would really get along with because she's as obsessed with the vampire diaries as I am. And then one last channel I want to recommend is Steph Papas. So she is a mukbanger I guess mainly, her channel is mainly mukbangs and she is actually how I found Raisin Canes. So when I was in Japan I was watching her mukbangs, I saw she was eating Raisin Canes and I was like oh my god that looks so good, I need to eat it. And so yeah thanks to her I have I now have an obsession with Raisin Canes. Um, she's super gorgeous, she's so pretty um, and who doesn't love a good mukbang right? And then her videos are so entertaining. She is also a Frenchie owner as well. Really sadly, like three months ago, her dad and um, their dog passed away in a horrific drunk drive car accident. I was so sad to hear this because she, you know, she posts videos. Um, sorry, the same. She posted videos um, with her dad doing mukbangs together. So I was so sad. Um, to hear it so yeah just definitely go support her channel okay so the last items we have are a few apps um, on my phone so the first one is prequel so prequel I actually downloaded after Halloween because I was looking for like some cute cool like Halloween filters and I have been using Visco this is why I should not film at this time of night because at this time of night I swear there is sirens every time. I feel like I'm living in New York or something sometimes but yeah okay they stop. So I was talking about prequel so I've been using Visco um, ever since I did Instagram ever since my Tumblr days and I love Visco but I'm using the free version and it's kind of limited to what I can do so I downloaded an app called prequel and um, there's like a free version and then a VIP version I just use the free version and even with the free version like it's enough they have super cool filters like retro filters grungy filters and like seasonal filters so if you want to give your pictures an extra like oomph definitely go download that second app I want to recommend is the app I use to edit my YouTube videos and my reels and that is CapCut CapCut again um, I use the free version but even with the free version um, Oh my god, this is crazy! Um, there's a free version and a paid version. Again, I'm using the free version, but it's enough. It's enough to like, you know, edit videos, I think. The last app that I want to recommend is an app called Time Tree, and it doesn't have to be Time Tree, but just any to-do list slash schedule app in general. So as I mentioned, I have a really strong case of OCD and I have since I was a child, but it just, I feel like it gets worse and worse as I've grown older. Like I get anxiety if I'm not organized. So I stay organized on like editing days, filming days and so on. And I have so many like online meetings in one, in like one day. So yeah, staying up to date on yeah, being able to look at that for my phone is super convenient and also, you know, having to-do list apps as well in general, it's just really convenient and it's so satisfying taking them off. So I think that's about it um, for my 2022 favorites. So practically all of my favorites are like non-physical items. I still do love makeup and fashion. It's just these were my favorites for this year. Um, so comment down what your favorite things were in 2022. They can be TV shows, movies, makeup, or 
anything in general, just please comment them down below. So I hope you guys had a wonderful year and I hope next year will be a wonderful year for you guys too. Seeing as it's the new year, a new month, I kind of want to post manifestation, law of attraction videos for January. Um, so if that interests you, definitely subscribe and look forward to that content. Um, also go check out my Instagram at it's the Lucy Kate. I am on there every single day. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Happy holidays and happy new year. Bye guys.